Hey guys, do you have brothers or sister? If you have, I envy you very much. Do you know how do I feel being the only child in the family? People say that we are spoiled and lonely children. Am I really spoiled and lonely? If you want to know the answer, please watch this video to the end. I was born in China. When I was born, there was one child policy in China. Each family can have no more than one child. My parents are good citizens who follow the rules of the society, and they gave birth to only one child, me. When I was in school, most of my classmates are only child in the family as well. Until I went to university, there I met many more people from various backgrounds. Then I realized that actually in China, there are many people who have brothers or sisters. It's not so difficult, you know, although it breaks the rule, but you, as long as you pay the fine, you can keep the child, especially people from countryside, want more people to earn more money for the family. And many people prefer boys than girls, so they keep on giving birth to children until they have a boy. And those rich people, they can go abroad to give birth to a baby without breaking any law. So there's no problem to have more children in a family. Let me first answer you this question. Do I feel lonely? The answer is no. I don't feel lonely. I was born alone and grew up alone. I don't know what is a feeling to have a brother or sister, but I can perfectly handle this situation without a brother or sister. When I feel bored, I just call my classmates or friends and we hang out together. And I have my cousin. I have quite good relationship with my cousin. And we very often go somewhere together. And when I'm alone at home, I play with myself. My, my favorite game is playing roles. <laughs> and I pretend that I am a teacher to teach many students, imaginary students sitting in front of me. And when they make mistakes, I very <laughs> strictly rebuke them. So I feel totally fine in this situation without brothers or sisters. This advantage could be that I don't know how to live with peers under the same roof. I don't know how to keep close contact with peers and how to build a close relationship with people. And sometimes I don't know how to communicate with others. The problem start to show when I enter university. In university, we live in a dormitory we have to live with many people together. And in my dormitory, in my room, there were four people. And I once even lived in a room of 16 people. So when there are many people, there will be frictions. And there will, when there is friction, sometimes I don't know how to handle a situation. So as my classmates, so as my roommates, and sometimes small friction accumulate and, and it becomes a big problem. I didn't have a big problem, but sometimes from time to time, I have small frictions with roommates. Once one of my roommates ate one of my apples without telling me. I felt very strange. How did my apple disappear? So I asked my roommates, did anybody know what happened? And this one felt very offended. She said, yes, I ate your apple. It's just an apple. I thought it was mine. Why are you so stingy? The way how she reacts is very ridiculous. It's like I caught her stealing and she tried to defend herself. But maybe to her, it's very natural. She already very used to the situation that she came from a family with sisters. So she thinks that the people are supposed to share everything, especially now we in we live in the same room and we are good friends and good friends are supposed to share everything. But I don't agree with this. I think my things are my things. 
if you want to do anything with it, then you have to tell me. So I told her, yes, you can eat my apple, but you have to tell me first. After all, we're not so familiar with each other. We just live in one room, that's all. But she felt very unhappy and she told everybody that I'm stingy. Am I spoiled? Maybe a little bit. I am the only child in the family. Parents love only me. I get all the attention of my parents. I don't have to compete with any sisters or brothers. And I don't feel jealous that my parents love my brothers or sister more. And I don't, I never have to compete with others for toys. I always have my toys. I don't have to wear all the clothes from my older sisters. I always get the best part of the delicious food. For example, if we eat fish, my parents will always give me the piece of fish with less bones. And now when I grow up, if I want to buy an apartment or a car, my parents will give me money. And when they die, their money will all belong to me. So I don't have to share their money with my brothers or sister. Although my parents spoil me, but that doesn't make me lazy. And I'm not handicapped of houseworks. I know how to do houseworks. But there are many people who don't know how to wash clothes. They have to use a washing machine. If not, they don't know how to wash clothes. And I have roommates who never clean rooms. Because they think that if they don't do it, then there'll always be somebody who, who do it. They don't care. They just don't think that is their job. So if you ask me whether I am spoiled, not so much. I think in the big family with many children, the youngest child is more likely to be spoiled. So being spoiled is not a specialty for the only child in the family. And it most likely depends on the parents. If the parents wants to spoil a child, it doesn't matter whether it's the only child or many children. The children will be spoiled. Do you know what is a pain to be the only child in the family? Yes, the parents are very willing to spend money on me. My parents sent me to many interest class. I went to dancing class, painting class, instrument class. And my parents sent me to many tutoring class, especially before the entrance examination, because they want me to get a good score in the examination. So I went to Chinese class, English class, chemistry class, mathematics class. It really cost a lot of money. I think my parents really have high expectation on me. It's very common. Parents have high expectation on their only child in the family because the child is the hope of the family. So they wish the child to be successful and they wish the child to achieve something and to have a good life in the future. But they don't think that this expectation may give the child a lot of pressure. I felt a lot of pressure from my parents and I don't want to disappoint them. So I work hard and I don't think I didn't think what I really want. I think what they want is what I want. So now when I realize it, I told my parents that they control me, but my parents say that they never want to control me. They just want me to have a good life. Because of this, I really wish I have a brother or sister. So if I fail, then my brother or sister can succeed. So my parents will be not so disappointed when one of the child didn't satisfy their expectation. So in this case, I will feel less stressful. There is a very strong mutual dependence between the parents and the child. I depend a lot on my parents. I call them very frequently and I tell them everything. And uh, I will always consult them before I make a decision. But I didn't tell them of my boyfriend and the relationship. 
I think that's why they felt very sad and they felt they they lost their baby because this baby is hiding something from them. And reversely, the parents depend on me because, except for work, I am everything in their lives. They don't have their own lives until they got retired, and I work somewhere in another city. They finally have some time for themselves, and they go to singing class, drawing class, and dancing class, and finally they get their life back. I don't know how is it in Western world, but in China, in Chinese tradition, children have to take care of their parents when they get old. So compared to the people who have siblings, the only child have much more responsibility for the family. Especially when one single child marry another single child, then two people have to take care of four parents. Plus their children, it is a lot of pressure and burden, and I feel very stressful that I'm in Europe now. If my parents need help, I cannot go there to help them. If they are sick, I will not be there to take care of them. So I really wish that I have a brother or sister. In this case, one of us can stay closer to the parents and take care of them. That's why I envy those people who have siblings. It is very common now in China. It already became a social problem that many parents in China live far away from their children, so there's no people to take care of the parents, and these old parents are called empty nest elderly. So, from my point of view, being the only child in the family. Is like living in heaven and hell at the same time. Yes, we get all the love from the family, we get all the resources and money from the family, but at the same time, we have a lot of pressure. We really wish to have somebody to share the burden together with us. Maybe you only see the bright side of being the only child, but you don't know that we have our own pain. As the only child in a family, my suggestion to you is to have more than one child, and do not raise your children in China. So, what do you think of it? Are you the only child in the family? Do you feel the same as me? If you have siblings, do you like your sisters or brothers? Do you fight often? Please comment. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe and give us like. See you next time. Bye bye.